Hello, and welcome to my channel. Today I have a card that puts a little bit of a spin on things, and it's this. It's called a pinwheel tower card, and as you can see, it spins round and round and round. It's a really nice fun fold card. It's a very popular type of card right now as well and as you can see here I've done mine in a Christmas theme which is very suitable for this sort of card but of course you could make it for any sort of occasion or even just put photographs on it. It's a very difficult card to make and it has this nice little fun factor to it so you may find that you'll spend a lot of time spinning it round and round just like I am here. So if you'd like to learn how to make this pinwheel tower card, stick with me and I'll show you how. I've cut the cardstock to size. And I have one piece that measures five by seven. And this is for the main part of the card. And then I have these three panels, which measure three and a half by five inches. So. They are essentially half the size of this piece here. Next, I'm going to score it. And I'll place it in my scoreboard with the seven inch side along the top, scoring at three and a half inches, four and a half inches, five and a half, and finally six and a half. So that's going to leave us with a half inch tab here, which is going to become a glue tab. Next, fold and burnish those score lines. And what you're forming is the tower portion. So it's going to be a cube that is one inch by five inches. So it's going to fold up like this. For this tab, you want to put your glue along here. You can use glue, you could use red liner tape, you could use double-sided tape like I'm going to use. This is pretty strong, so I'm just going to run that along there. And I'll make sure that I've got that pressed down in there. And then on the ends, I want to just take a little wedge out to miter this tab. And then that will neatly go inside. Now, next bit is optional because you may or may not want to do this. But since this is going to form this cube, and if you're using something like this white cardstock, if you don't like the idea of having all that white showing on the inside, you can actually decorate it. And if you do that, you want to do it on this side. So I'm going to do that so that you will see what it's going to look like. And what I've got are these pieces here. I've got four that I've cut at seven eighths by four and seven eighths so that leaves that tiny little bit of a border around it. And then I've got this piece, which is going to go here on the tab. And that one is, I believe that's three eighths of an inch. Yes, three eighths of an inch. And I'll need to also take just a tiny miter off of that. Forgot to do that. that is going to go there. So I'll get these glued down and then I'll show you how you'll put it together. So 
Now these inside panels are all covered now. So we've got four of them cut at seven eighths by four and seven eighths and then are three eighths inch wide one here. Now this, as I said, is going to fold up like that. So you will see a little bit of that white. If you didn't want that, then you could always bring it down to the edge, but I think it's fine just as it is. Now, to form this cube, you'll need to, of course, take your backing off the tape if you're using double-sided tape. Then, you have your tab, which is going to fold over like that, and you have this third score line, one, two, three. What you want to do is just let it come into place here, hold it flat like that. And then make sure it's stuck down. And go back over the score lines once more. And now you have your tab with your decoration inside. But like I said, that's optional. So if you don't want to fiddle with that, then don't worry about it. And that the cube or the tower faces the back, and you can see this one inch tab here or panel and apply your adhesive whatever you're going to be using if it's glue or tape and don't go past the score line and take your panel which is the three and a half by five Place it close to that fold, but not completely over it. Like that. I don't know if you can see that or not. If I take a piece of card here, that's where the actual panel card is. Ending, and that's where the rest of the card underneath remains. So that's the fold. So you have that little gap. Now you want to just slide it over to find the next one inch side of that cube and repeat the process. So only in this one inch section is where you want to put your adhesive. Bring your next piece in and slide it up to that fold line. But don't go over it. So hopefully you can see that it's just shy of that. Again, give that a moment to take hold, and then we'll be ready to put our final panel in place. Okay, and then that means you're just going to fold it again, so just push it down, and there is your one inch panel that you need to put your glue on. And then stick this down it'll be flush at the top and bottom but not all the way up to that fold line so that it doesn't snag as you're turning it round and round so. right. I'm going to go cut the papers for the rest of this and give this a moment to dry. Mats, you will need three 
pieces that are cut to four and three quarters by two and a quarter. And they are going to go here on this skinnier section. And then you'll need three that are four and three quarters by three and a quarter, which are going to go onto the main panels. You'll also need either to place a plain piece of, of uh, white cardstock or paper onto the back of one of these for a message, or you could just not decorate it if you're using white card, but if you are using perhaps um, a colored card, you'd want to do that, or you could do like I'm going to do, and I had this spare bit of black card, which I've cut to the four and three quarters by three and a quarter, and then for the message, I cut another piece that is four and a half by three inches. You don't want as much of this white showing, then you could just cut this a little longer, four and seven eighths by three and five eighths should do it. And then you would have a very narrow border. And the only thing we have left to do are these pieces here. And we did need four of the of the um, smaller strips. That was my mistake. So this still goes here. So I need to cut one more. So if you rewind, it needs to be four of each size, with one of them being for the message. Or if you wanted this to be your message, you could do that instead and just have a larger piece here. So I'm going to cut one of those for this side and I'll be right back. I didn't have another piece of this, which of course I've used on the inside, that was wide enough to cover that last section. What I've done is take this one. I already have one of these in the narrow section here. What I'm going to do is just mat these together like that. So what I've done is this is cut at the four and three quarters by three and a quarter. And then this is cut at two inches by four and a half inches. That's going to go there. Put this in place. That's going to be all the panels done. And then depending on how you're going to use this, you're going to just maybe put photographs, you know, of the family to give to someone for Christmas. You could do that, or you may just want to use this as a card. You see, it, has, it just spins around like that. It's quite a fun little card, actually. I have a handful of decorations here, which I'm going to have a play with. And while I do that, I'll speed this up and then I'll be right back.
I'm also going to add a little bit of sparkle on this bow here. glimmer a bit. And I may do something here as well with the tree. These tiny little gems here. Which I think would look really nice here on this tree. I think that's nice. It picks up the red on the other side there. I think that's fine, just like as it is. That is the pinwheel tower. I think it's really nice. And as I said, you could put photographs on some of these panels, if not all of them. That would make a very lovely Christmas gift or birthday gift or anniversary gift, whatever. And I do like that I've covered this white on the inside because that helps to keep the continuity there, I think. So, it stands very easily and it's easy to post too because when you fold it, no matter how you fold it, it will be a 5 by 7 card. Thank you everyone for joining me today in the making of this pinwheel tower card. I do hope you'll make one yourself. I think you'll find that it's not really very difficult and it has lots of possibilities. It's a really nice, fun fold card. Now. I'd like to take a moment to thank all of you who have subscribed to the channel, especially those who have decided to subscribe in the last two or three months. It really does mean an awful lot to me. So thank you. Thank you very much. I think you know what I'm going to say next, especially now that we are in the autumn season and heading rather quickly to winter with the days getting colder and the nights longer and there's more chance of getting things that we really don't want in our lives. So I'm going to ask you once again to please stay safe and crafty hugs. Bye.